Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this is first video so I need all your support to grow this channel. So before getting to that, let me directly get into this step. The first one is we're gonna address an issue regarding how to fix. Marvel driver is crashing at startup. It is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, laggy low fps drop stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of those is right now on how we can fix this app so let's dive into the worker now the first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to before getting to the step let's start with a simple restart so to do a simple restart we just need to go over here in the start icon go over here in this particular one and do a restart so once the restart is done, just try because sometimes, you know, a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. So that is why you can start with a simple restart. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure one thing. Sometimes, you know, most probably we'll be launching the game from Steam. So launching the game from Steam is sometimes an issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So to do this, just go over here in the file explorer navigate to this pc go to the installation folder that is lock list d now from here go to steam library go to steam amps go to common now scroll down and navigate to marvel drivers now from here we have to scroll down and we have to navigate to this is the installation that a marvel live uh, rivals launcher so we need to launch the game from here so sometimes you know launch the game from the installation folder will be working up so you can try this Third step is all about we need to run the game as an administrator and also we need to run the game in the compatibility board. So first we need to navigate to the installation folder. So we have a shortcut that just go to the game, right click and go to the properties, go over here in the installer file and just click on browse. And right now, as you can see that this PC, local this D, Steam library, Steam amps, common, Marvel rivals scroll down and navigate to marvel uh, rival launcher so we just need to right click go to the show more option go to the properties before comfortability and right now first thing you just need to make sure that you have to select this one and you have to set this to windows 7 go for apply and go for ok or you can set this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok and afterwards, you can try run the game in the compatibility mode. So just do the same. Just go to the compatibility. Make sure run this program as an administrator is checked. Go for apply and go for OK. And close this. Go back. And we just need to try launch the game. And that's what we have to do. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to delete the saved game file. So just go to the file explorer. We just need to go over here in the documents. And if you find the folder for the game Marvel Drivel, just delete the SWP folder. And keep in mind, when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions. So just close this and go back and try to launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here and search for the control panel. Just click on this one. And we just need to go to system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to scroll down and navigate to Marvel Rivals. So keep scrolling down and navigate to Marvel Rivals. So just make sure that Marvel Rivals is selected. And this is, you have to make sure this is checked. And this is also checked. So that's an important one. Once it is cross-checked, what we need to do is just move to the next step. And if you don't know how to, for example, if you're not able to find this, just click on the change setting before I allow another app, go to the browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk D, go to Steam library, Steam apps, go to the common, scroll down and navigate to Marvel Drivel, scroll down and select this one and go for open and we have to add a rule. So we'll be getting the error. So once, uh, because it is already added, that is why we're getting the error. So once the game is added, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of uh, external devices, for example, joysticks or any other uh, might be connected. So just remove everything. Once everything is removed, just try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here and search for system configuration. Just select this one 
and go for services go for disable or hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay so if you find the system configuration so just go for restart and once the restart is done just try launch the key next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so just go to the game right click and go to the properties and right now as you can see if it is there just make sure you have to go over here to the general and enable the steam overlay while in game if it is turn it on you have to turn this off and you have to try launch the game and also if afterwards still if you're having the trouble try giving commands to the launch auction that is you have to start with bx11 you have to start with bx11 or you can start with bx12 or you can start with d3 d2 you can start with d3 b2 start with b3 d2 if b3 d2 is not working close everything and try launching the key make sure it's all about what we need to do is we just need to uh you know what we need to do is we just need to after trying with this close all the overlay application so just go over here right click and go to the task manager and right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so there are actually 15 apps running in the background and all these things actually running in the background so simultaneously when you try to launch the game they're gonna end up in crashing so we just need to remove all the unbonded things so just remove the end of the task we have to remove this one go over here and that begins to launch just remove it and you can see there are a lot of things you just remove all the unbonded things from here and afterwards just close this and go back and try launch the key Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for the advanced system setting. Just go to the advanced go for settings, go for advanced and go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the lock and disk. So right now, in my case, the lock and disk is installed on D. I have to go for the custom size, set the value for initial size and we have to set the value for maximum size. So initial size is 1.5 times total RAM. So we just need to go over here, type a RAM that is 16 GB multiplied with 1024. And that brings you this value that is 1.5. That brings you 24576. Copy this and we have to paste it. For the maximum size, type a RAM 16 GB multiplied with 1024. And we have to multiply it with 3. That brings you 14 and 152 and we have to copy this value and we have to paste it so once it has been done just go for ok and set everything and we have to try launch the game next one is all about we need to update the graphics card and before that we need to run the game as a for the i mean we have to run the game with the best graphics card so just go over here search for the graphics settings and we have to go over here now we need to add the game just click on add desktop app and you have to navigate to where the game is installed. That is D. Go to Steam Library, Steam Amps, which are common. Scroll down and navigate to uh, Marvel Rival. So just select this one and scroll down and navigate to this one and go for Add. So once it has been done, scroll down and navigate to the game. Go to this option and change this to High Performance. By default, this will be let Windows decide. Change this to High Performance. And once it is being changed into high performance, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to update the graphics card. So just go over here. So uh, I'll be providing a link in the description over here. You can see this is what we have to select on. This is for the NVIDIA users. So if you're on the GeForce, select GeForce. If you're on the GeForce series, you have to select it. So in my case, I am on GeForce 16 series. So I have to select this one and for over here i have to go over here and if you have to select the what is here so a minus geoforce gtx 1650 i have to select this one if you're on windows 11 select this one and go for us fine and right now what you need to do is just scroll down you'll be getting a bunch of details over here and from here you have to if this is the driver version as 566.36 and you have to december 10 2024 which is around 732.88 mb so just download this one and if you're on the uh, AMD, just go over here, select the graphics and you have to select the graphics and you have to go for search and you have to select the graphics and you have to set all the further details like which is used. You have to go over here and based on your system configuration, if you're on Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can download this one. 
Also try install Microsoft Visual C++, which even work with Firmity. So, so just go over here. So, so system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, you have to download this one. And also don't forget to visit our website games era for more these kind of videos we'll be updating a lot of things over here so you can also cross check this i'll be providing a link in the description so you can check this as well and after trying with the stay if you're having the trouble we have two steps one is we need to verify integrity of game file so just right click go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so what happens is this is going to take a lot of time you know what happens if this is gonna take you know this gonna check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing this is even cause they shoot it this one crashing and all this kind of issue would be popping up so we just need to what we need to do is we just need to fix this up so we just need to wait this to, this to get completed so i'll be showing you a few more bunch of steps that can be done to fix the issue up
So once files are successfully validated, we just need to go over here as you can see and afterwards try Linger the game. Last and the least step is all about, we just need to go over here, go to the manage and install the game. And you have to reinstall it back. You should not be installing it back on the Lopidus D firmware which you already installed. You have to try either Lopidus C or you have to try Lopidus D. So these are the possible workaround and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for both these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.